Hello dear students, welcome to Bio Vidyalaya. Today in this lecture video we are going to discuss about couple of graphical questions based on Lodka Volterra competition model. This is the question from CSIR net December 2014. Here the diagram represents competition between species 1 and species 2 according to Lodka Volterra model of competition. So here in this graph they plotted species 1 on x axis and species 2 on y axis. Given the conditions in the diagram, the predicted outcome of competition. Based on this graph, we have to find what will be the outcome of the competition. So, here options are given. From this option, we have to select the correct statement. Okay. So, here K1. K1 means carrying capacity of species 1. K2 means carrying capacity of species 2. Here K2 divided by beta. I will write here, this is not visible, K2 divided by beta. Here beta means nothing but it is alpha 2 1. That means competition coefficient that express the effect of one member of species 1 on the growth rate of species 2. And here you can see that this is K1 divided by K1 divided by alpha. Alpha means alpha 1 2 okay competition coefficient that express the effect of one member of species 2 on the growth rate of species 1 okay so here we have to find who is the winner okay so here you can see that carrying capacity of species 1 k1 is greater than k2 divided by beta isn't it so here i am writing k1 is greater than K2 divided by beta. That means carrying capacity of species 1 is greater than the carrying capacity of other species divided by competition coefficient. So, we can say that species 1 is the winner because carrying capacity of species 1 is greater. Same here also. Carrying capacity of species 2 is also greater than carrying capacity of the other species divided by competition coefficient. So we can we can say that species two species two is also a winner. So both the species are winners. Either species one or species two will be the winner. We can't predict one specific species as the winner. Okay. So, this is unstable coexistence graph. Unstable coexistence graph. The outcome of competition is unstable coexistence and this is the condition. K1 is greater than K2 divided by beta and K2 is greater than K1 divided by alpha. So, let's see the options. Here in option A and option B, unstable coexistence given. So, let's see first option A. Unstable coexistence between species 1 and 2 because K1 is greater than K2 divided by beta. This is correct. And K2 divided by, sorry, K2 is greater than K1 divided by alpha. This is also correct. So, Conditions are also correct. So, we can say that option A is the correct answer. See here in option B, unstable coexistence between species 1 and 2 because K1 is less than K2 divided by beta and K2 is less than K1 divided by alpha. These conditions are not correct. So, option B is not correct. Statement is incorrect. And just option C and D. He in option C and D they given stable coexistence. That is not correct, isn't it? So correct answer is option A, unstable coexistence between species 1 and 2 because K1 is greater than K2 divided by beta and K2 is greater than K1 divided by alpha. Okay. This is the question from CSAR net June 2017. This is little bit lengthy question, but it is very easy to solve. So, I will read for you. Two species, M and N, occupy the same habitat 
given below is a stage space graph in which the abundance of species m is plotted on the x axis here an abundance of species n is plotted on the y axis here okay for each species the zero growth isoclines is plotted and this line this thicker line is representing zero growth isocline for species m and this dotted line for zero growth isocline for species n and km here you can see km km carrying capacity of the habitat for species m in the absence of species n here we can see kn kn is carrying capacity of the habitat for species n in the absence of species m alpha per capita effect of species n on m and beta per capita effect of species m on n alpha and beta are competition coefficient okay based on the above plot same direct Uh, some deductions are made which one of the following statement in correct okay so first option a at point day population of both the species m and n increase option b at point b population of species m increase while that of species n decrease option c at point b population of species n increases while that of the species m decreases and option d ultimately species n will be eliminated so based uh, from this option we have to find which is the incorrect statement which is incorrect okay here i am roughly drawing one graph see here here in x axis population size of species 1 Here in y-axis, population size of species two. Okay, and just imagine that this is the zero growth isocline for species one. Okay, so you have to remember that above the zero growth isocline, population size is always decreasing, and below the zero growth isocline. Population size is increasing. Just imagine that this is point A. This point A is below the zero growth isocline. So we can say that at point A, population size of species one is increasing. And here, this is point B. And we can say that at point B. Population size of species one is decreasing. Okay, just imagine that this is zero growth isocline for species two. Okay, species two. So this point A and B are below the zero growth isocline of species two. So at point A and B, population size of species two is increasing. Just imagine that this is point C. So we can say that at point C, population size of species two is decreasing because it is above that of zero growth isocline of species two. Okay. Now just come to our question. Option A. At point A, population of both the species M and N increases. So, from this following option, we have to find which is the incorrect one. So here, option A is at point A. Where is point A? See here in this graph, you can see point A here. At point A, population of both the species M and N increases. That means. Uh, point A should be below the zero growth zero growth isocline of N and M. Okay, see, this is the zero growth isocline of species N, and this is zero growth isocline of species M. So here you can see that 
This point A is below the zero growth isocline of species N and M. So population size of both M and M are increasing. So here in option A is also same thing only they given at point A population of both the species M and N increases. So this is correct statement. Okay. Next statement B. At point B, population of species M increase while that of species N decreases. Okay, where is point B? Point B is here. So here you can see that point B is above that of species N zero growth isocline. That means species N population size is decreasing. Okay. It is above the zero growth isocline of uh, species N. So, species N population size is decreasing. And here you can see that this point B is below the zero growth isocline of species M. So, population size of species M is increasing. Okay. So, come to the option. At point B, population of species M increase. This is correct. While that of species N decrease. This is also correct. So, statement B is correct. Next statement C. At point B, population of species N increases. While that of species M decrease. This, is the, this statement is just opposite of a statement B. So, this is not correct. Next, statement D, ultimately species N will be eliminated. That means species M will be the winner. Isn't it? So, let's see here. KM. KM is greater than KN divided by beta. Okay, and here KN Kn is less than Km divided by alpha. So here you can see that Kn is less but Km is greater. So who is the winner? Yes. Species M is the winner. So ultimately species 2 will be eliminated. So option D is also correct ultimately species n will be eliminated okay so which is the incorrect statement statement c option c so which is the correct answer option c at point b population of species n increases while that of species m decreases okay this is the incorrect statement so the answer is option c I hope you all have subscribed this channel. If you didn't subscribe, then please do subscribe. And also don't forget to share this video with your friends.